Welcome. So today I'm going to talk about the line of best fit and how you can use it to actually make predictions. So in my little data set that I have here, I have the year that people were born and their predicted uh, lifespan. So if you're born in 1950, the prediction was 68.2. I want to know what the predicted lifespan is going to be in 2020. And I can get that information using the line of best fit. So I'm going to go to my calculator and find the line of best fit first. Go to my stat menu, hit edit, go down and I have my information that I have in here. You could put 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, whatever in the uh, L1 column if you wanted to, but it would make it diff sometimes it makes it difficult to come back and figure out the relationship between the answer you get and your data. If you put it in exactly, it's easy to see it matches up. You just have to make small adjustments. Anyway, um, once you have it, I can go in and go to the stat menu, go over to calc, I want to do a linear regression here and I just say yeah I'm, I'm happy with all that and so I get my A which is 0 0.181 and I get a B value of negative 285.9 ish so I can use that information to figure out what I want to know about 2020 so what I'm going to do is take the information that I was given my A value of around 0 0.181 on my B value of negative 285.9. Now, the way that the calculator sets it up is instead of using M, they use A, so it's pretty simple to recreate. And then, uh, I don't know why I was trying to put plus there, I meant to put minus. So minus 285.9. All I have to do from here is take the year which is my x value or my input and just plug it in. So I'm going to do y is equal to 0 0.181 and like parentheses would be there. So I'm going to put 2020 minus 285.9. Then I can use my calculator to go back in and type it in or I could do it by hand which uh, I'm not going to do because it's huge. Um, to type all the, to try to do all those by hand plus I'm trying to do it quickly so you don't sit here forever so my y value that pops out is 79.72 which makes that's supposed to be a 7 uh, which makes a lot of sense because it seems to be that as people the later they are born the longer their lifespan tends to be but that's how you get it you plug in the value for x uh, once you find your line of best fit and you get your answer pretty simple stuff uh, not overly mind breaking